Hey guys, what is up? Mark here for another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. <clears throat> and today, I'm going to be going over my Chaos Ninja deck. It has had some changes since the DN post, and since I actually have the cards now. Um, I'm just going to do it. So, to start things off, you run three Hanzo. Hanzo is the main card of the deck. You want to pull Hanzo, you want to get him out. He searches for your traps, he searches for your other ninjas when he's specialed. So... It's really good. And then you run, uh, I run three Upstart Goldens. I've seen a couple others run two, but personally I like three because <clears throat> it gives me the chance to go into an easy level, level three, and then see so you special, you, you normal summon, special summon, then special Hanzo, and you get another level, and you get the other one to your hand so you can make another play next turn. Then you run two White Dragon Ninjas. Uh, White Dragon Ninja is your Ninjutsu art target he prevents your back row from being destroyed but he can only be special summoned from an injutsu art card effect meaning that if you want to summon him another way you have to double tribute which is sort of lame but I'll get to how to get over that in a second or how to get him out of your hand if he is in your hand <clears throat> you run two Thunder King Ryo um, he just negates some is another warning or judgment or whatever judgment <laughs> And he prevents you, your opponent from adding cards to their hand. You don't really add cards to your hand in this deck besides um, Hanzo's effect. So, once, I mean, if you're not going to use Hanzo, you might as well Thunder King. Um, BLS, Chaos Sorcerer, that's your Chaos right there. And then um, Tour Guide Engine, uh, two Tour Guide, Sangan, and the Knight Assailant. Nice, that was pretty good. Even if you have them in your hand, you can use them. Which makes them really good. Two, Valor. Valor has saved me many times, but it has also hurt me many times. So I put it down at two. Two is the limit. I'm not going three. 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 If you draw into it, it's really bad. Uh, on the spells, you got one Rota. Um, I don't run Gores. Oh, yeah, I... I'll tell you that at the end. Don't run Gores, but yeah. Um, this card is really good. It um, allows you to select one level 7 or higher monster and put it back in your deck to draw one card. Um, so, you got BLS in your hand with nothing. You can use this. I mean, BLS is useless in the hand without anything. Uh, him in your hand, this is the main reason why I put it in there because I do not like this card in my hand. So, yeah, it helps a lot. It really does. Two MST to get rid of annoying things like skill drain and stuff like that. One um, reborn, dark hole, heavy, and book. That's the basic spell lineup. I run it's pretty much staples. Um, onto the traps. The traps. This is a trap heavy deck. Um, two ninjutsu arts of transformation. These can be searched with Hanzo, and they they scare your opponent a lot. Like. You, they see it, if they don't know what it does, it's really funny, but if they do know what it does, then they're not going to, they're, they're going to MST or they're going to set their monsters, they're not going to play them in attack mode. It, it stops plays, really, until they pull something to get get it out of the way. Um, two Call of the Haunteds. Call of the Haunteds gets back your upstart goldens. He makes plays a lot easier. Um, gets your Hanzo to the field, which then lets you get your upstart, and then allows you to normal your upstart to overlay for level four if you want to. And then uh, two D prisons because I can use them but if I don't need them then I can pitch them. Which is essentially every trap in the deck for an upstart's effect. Two dark bribe, same thing. If my opponent's running a lot of back row I can set them. If I don't need them, if my opponent doesn't run back row, I can use it for upstart's effect. Um, Compulse, this card's amazing, bounces back everything. This is good. Uh, two Solemn Warnings. It's pretty much a staple. I do not run Judgment. I don't like Judgment. And I will not run Judgment. I don't like paying half my life points. Uh, one Torrential. Pretty much just throwaway bait. And Mirror Force. Because my opponent's monsters can get over mine. Mm, uh, not really easily, but they can get over it. Onto my extra deck. Nice sleeves on it. Um, rank 3s. Levier. Levier is really good in the deck because you do banish, and once um, you banish, you can get them back really easily. 
Um, Leviathan Dragon, because he's a beater, pretty much. Temp Tempo, it um, prevents your opponent from overlaying until they can get over, or until they get rid of him, so stops play sometimes. And if they have an overlay monster out, or an Exceed monster out, you um, can steal it to the material way and gain 500. Two Utopia, because Utopia is pretty much a staple. Same with Maestro, pretty much a staple. Um, Blade Armor is a staple in most Warrior decks, and since I do run like eight level fours or something like that, um, he's really easily made. And once he's made, I can target White Dragon Ninja and allow White Dragon Ninja to attack twice, meaning I do more than it's pretty. It's almost an OTK with that if I can hit him. Two Excalibur because if I need to get over something big, I can. Shockmaster, I don't like Shockmaster, but he's here because I can make him easily. Uh, this is a proxy Shark Drake. Shark Drake's amazing in this deck because you can make it easily. 2800, um, and it does a lot of damage to your opponent. And then since I'm running Shark Drake, um, C32, Synchro, Armor Arm, and Star Dragon. That's it.